Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi, Persian, Muhammad Khwarizmi Mehmd bn Musi Khwarizmi, c. 780 c. 850, Arabized as al Khwarizmi with al and formerly Latinized as Algorithmi, was a Persian scholar who produced works in mathematics, astronomy, and geography under the patronage of the Caliph al Mamun of the Abbasid Caliphate. Around 820 AD he was appointed as the astronomer and head of the Library of the House of Wisdom in Baghdad. al khwarizmis popularizing treatise on algebra the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, c. 813-833 CE, presented the first systematic solution of linear and quadratic equations. One of his principal achievements in algebra was his demonstration of how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square, for which he provided geometric justifications. Because he was the first to treat algebra as an independent discipline and introduced the methods of reduction and balancing. The transposition of subtracted terms to the other side of an equation, that is, the cancellation of like terms on opposite sides of the equation, he has been described as the father or founder of algebra. The term algebra itself comes from the title of his book specifically the word al-jab meaning completion or rejoining. His name gave rise to the terms algorithm and algorithm. His name is also the origin of Spanish guarismo and of Portuguese algorismo, both meaning digit. In the 12th century, Latin translations of his textbook on arithmetic algorithmo de numero indorum, which codified the various Indian numerals, introduced the decimal positional number system to the Western world. The compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, translated into Latin by Robert of Chester in 1145, was used until the 16th century as the principal mathematical textbook of European universities. In addition to his best known works, he revised Ptolemy geography, listing the longitudes and latitudes of various cities and localities. He further produced a set of astronomical tables and wrote about calendaric works, as well as the astrolabe and the sundial. He also made important contributions to trigonometry, producing accurate sine and cosine tables, and the first table of tangents. Topic. Life Few details of al khwarizmis life are known with certainty. He was born into a Persian family and Ibn al-Nadim gives his birthplace as Khwarizm in Greater Khorasan modern Kiva, Zorazma region, Uzbekistan. Muhammad ibn Jarir al-Tabari gives his name as Muhammad ibn Musa al khwarizmi al majisi al qutrubali Mehmdbn Musi al Quartzmi Almjos y al The epithet al Qutrubali could indicate he might instead have come from Qutrubal, a viticulture district near Baghdad. However, Rasht suggests there is no need to be an expert on the period or a philologist to see that al Tabari's second citation should read, Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi and al Majisi al Qutrubali and that there are two people al khwarizmi and al majisi al qutrubali between whom the letter wa arabic w for the conjunction and has been omitted in an early copy this would not be worth mentioning if a series of errors concerning the personality of al khwarizmi occasionally even the origins of his knowledge had not been made recently g j tumor with naive confidence constructed an entire fantasy on the error which cannot be denied the merit of amusing the reader. Regarding al khwarizmis religion, Tumur writes, Another epithet given to him by al-Tabari, al Majisi, would seem to indicate that he was an adherent of the old Zoroastrian religion. This would still have been possible at that time for a man of Iranian origin, but the pious preface to al khwarizmis algebra shows that he was an orthodox Muslim, so al-Tabari's epithet could mean no more than that his forebears, and perhaps he in his youth, had been Zoroastrians. Ibn al-Nadim's Kitab al-Firist includes a short biography on al khwarizmi together with a list of the books he wrote. 
Al Khwarizmi accomplished most of his work in the period between 813 and 833. After the Muslim conquest of Persia, Baghdad became the center of scientific studies and trade, and many merchants and scientists from as far as China and India traveled to this city, as did Al Khwarizmi. He worked in Baghdad as a scholar at the House of Wisdom established by Caliph al Mamun, where he studied the sciences and mathematics, which included the translation of Greek and Sanskrit scientific manuscripts. Douglas Morton Dunlop suggests that it may have been possible that Muhammad ibn Musa al Khwarizmi was in fact the same person as Muhammad ibn Musa ibn Shakir, the eldest of the three Banu Musa. Topic. Contributions All Khwarizmi's contributions to mathematics, geography, astronomy, and cartography established the basis for innovation in algebra and trigonometry. His systematic approach to solving linear and quadratic equations led to algebra, a word derived from the title of his book on the subject. The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing, on the calculation with Hindu numerals written about 820, was principally responsible for spreading the Hindu Arabic numeral system throughout the Middle East and Europe. It was translated into Latin as Algorithmi de Numero Indorum. All Khwarizmi, rendered as Latin Algorithmi, led to the term algorithm. Some of his work was based on Persian and Babylonian astronomy, Indian numbers, and Greek mathematics. Al Khwarizmi systematized and corrected Ptolemy data for Africa and the Middle East. Another major book was Kitab Surat al Ard, The Image of the Earth, translated as Geography, presenting the coordinates of places based on those in the geography of Ptolemy but with improved values for the Mediterranean Sea, Asia, and Africa. He also wrote on mechanical devices like the astrolabe and sundial. He assisted a project to determine the circumference of the earth and in making a world map for al mamun the caliph, overseeing 70 geographers, when, in the 12th century, his work spread to Europe through Latin translations, it had a profound impact on the advance of mathematics in Europe. Topic. Algebra The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing Arabic, Al-Ktab Al-Mkhtsr fi Hasab Al-Jbar Wamkult Al-Khatab Al-Muqtasar fi Hasab Al-Jab wal Mukabala is a mathematical book written approximately 820 CE. The book was written with the encouragement of Caliph al mamun as a popular work on calculation and is replete with examples and applications to a wide range of problems in trade, surveying and legal inheritance. The term, algebra, is derived from the name of one of the basic operations with equations al-jab, meaning, restoration, referring to adding a number to both sides of the equation to consolidate or cancel terms described in this book. The book was translated in Latin as Liber Algebrae et Almucabala by Robert of Chester, Segovia, 1145, hence, algebra, and also by Gerard of Cremona. A unique Arabic copy is kept at Oxford and was translated in 1831 by F. Rosen. A Latin translation is kept in Cambridge. It provided an exhaustive account of solving polynomial equations up to the second degree, and discussed the fundamental methods of reduction and balancing, referring to the transposition of terms to the other side of an equation, that is, the cancellation of like terms on opposite sides of the equation. Al Khwarizmi's method of solving linear and quadratic equations worked by first reducing the equation to one of six standard forms, where b and c are positive integers. Squares equal roots x2 equals bx. Squares equal number x2 equals c. Roots equal number bx equals c. Squares and roots equal number x2 plus bx equals c. Squares and number equal roots x2 plus c equals bx Roots and number equal squares bx plus c 
equals x2 by dividing out the coefficient of the square and using the two operations al jab Arabic of restoring or completion and al mukabala balancing all jab is the process of removing negative units, roots and squares from the equation by adding the same quantity to each side. For example, x2 equals 40 x minus 4 by 2 is reduced to 5 by 2. Topic 40x, all mukabala is the process of bringing quantities of the same type to the same side of the equation. For example, x2 plus 14. x plus 5 is reduced to x2 plus 9 equals x. The above discussion uses modern mathematical notation for the types of problems which the book discusses. However, in al Khwarizmi's day, most of this notation had not yet been invented, so he had to use ordinary text to present problems and their solutions. For example, for one problem he writes, from an 1831 translation, If someone says, you divide 10 into two parts, multiply the one by itself, it will be equal to the other taken 81 times. Computation, you say, 10 less a thing, multiplied by itself, is 100 plus a square less 20 things, and this is equal to 81 things. Separate the 20 things from a hundred and a square, and add them to 81. It will then be a hundred plus a square, which is equal to a hundred and one roots. Have the roots, the moiety is fifty and a half. Multiply this by itself, it is two thousand five hundred and fifty and a quarter. Subtract from this one hundred, the remainder is two thousand four hundred and fifty and a quarter. Extract the root from this, it is 49 and a half. Subtract this from the moiety of the roots, which is 50 and a half. There remains one, and this is one of the two parts. In modern notation this process, with x the thing, shy she or root, is given by the steps 10 minus x 2 equals 81 x display style 10 x caret 2 equals 81 x 100 plus x 2 minus 20 x equals 81 x Display style 100 plus x caret 2 20 x equals 81 x x 2 plus 100 equals 101 x display style x caret 2 plus 100 equals 101 x. Let the roots of the equation be x. Topic P and X Q then P plus Q two equals fifty one two Display style TFRAC P plus Q two equals fifty TFRAC one two P Q equals 100 display style p q equals 100 and p minus q 2 equals p plus q 2 2 minus p q equals 2550 1 4 minus 100 equals 49 1 2 
Display style FRAC P Q two equals SQRT left FRAC P plus Q two right carrot two P Q equals SQRT two thousand five hundred fifty TFRAC one four minus one hundred equals forty nine TFRAC one two So a root is given by X equals fifty one two minus forty nine one two equals one Display style x equals fifty TFRAC one two minus forty nine TFRAC one two equals one Several authors have also published texts under the name of Kitab al Jab wal Mukabala, including Abu Hanifa Dinawari, Abu Kamil Shuj ibn Aslam, Abu Muhammad al Adli, Abu Yusuf al Misisi, Abd al Hamid ibn Turk, Sind ibn Ali, Saul ibn Bissar, and Sheriff al Din al Tusi. J. J. O'Connor and E. F. Robertson wrote in the Maktudur History of Mathematics Archive. Perhaps one of the most significant advances made by Arabic mathematics began at this time with the work of al-Khwarizmi, namely the beginnings of algebra. It is important to understand just how significant this new idea was. It was a revolutionary move away from the Greek concept of mathematics which was essentially geometry. Algebra was a unifying theory which allowed rational numbers, irrational numbers, geometrical magnitudes, etc., to all be treated as algebraic objects. It gave mathematics a whole new development path so much broader in concept to that which had existed before, and provided a vehicle for future development of the subject. Another important aspect of the introduction of algebraic ideas was that it allowed mathematics to be applied to itself in a way which had not happened before. R. Rasht and Angela Armstrong write, All Khwarizmi's text can be seen to be distinct not only from the Babylonian tablets, but also from Diophantus Arithmetica. It no longer concerns a series of problems to be solved, but an exposition which starts with primitive terms in which the combinations must give all possible prototypes for equations, which henceforward explicitly constitute the true object of study. On the other hand, the idea of an equation for its own sake appears from the beginning and, one could say, in a generic manner, insofar as it does not simply emerge in the course of solving a problem, but is specifically called on to define an infinite class of problems. According to Swiss-American historian of mathematics, Florian Cahori, all Khwarizmi's algebra was different from the work of Indian mathematicians, for Indians had no rules like the restoration and reduction. Regarding the dissimilarity and significance of al khwarizmis algebraic work from that of Indian mathematician Brahmagupta, Carl Benjamin Boyer wrote, It is quite unlikely that al khwarizmi knew of the work of Diophantus, but he must have been familiar with at least the astronomical and computational portions of Brahmagupta, yet neither al khwarizmi nor other Arabic scholars made use of syncopation or of negative numbers. Nevertheless, the al-Jab comes closer to the elementary algebra of today than the works of either Diophantus or Brahmagupta, because the book is not concerned with difficult problems in indeterminate analysis but with a straightforward and elementary exposition of the solution of equations, especially that of second degree. The Arabs in general loved a good clear argument from premise to conclusion, as well as systematic organization, respects in which neither Diophantus nor the Hindus excelled. Topic. Arithmetic Al Khwarizmi's second most influential work was on the subject of arithmetic, which survived in Latin translations but lost in the original Arabic. His writings include the text Kitab al Hasab al Hindi, book on computation with Indian numerals, and perhaps a more elementary text, Kitab al Jam wal Tafriq al Hasab al Hindi, addition and subtraction in Indian arithmetic. These texts described algorithms on decimal numbers Hindu-Arabic numerals that could be carried out on a dust board. 
called takht in Arabic Latin, tabula, a board covered with a thin layer of dust or sand was employed for calculations, on which figures could be written with a stylus and easily erased and replaced when necessary. All Khwarezmi's algorithms were used for almost three centuries, until replaced by all Euclidesi's algorithms that could be carried out with pen and paper, as part of 12th century wave of Arabic science flowing into Europe via translations. These texts proved to be revolutionary in Europe. All Khwarezmi's Latinized name, Algorithmus, turned into the name of method used for computations, and survives in the modern term, algorithm. It gradually replaced the previous abacus-based methods used in Europe. Four Latin texts providing adaptions of al khwarizmis methods have survived, even though none of them is believed to be a literal translation. Dixit Algorithmi, published in 1857 under the title Algorithmi de Numero Indorum. Liber Alchorismi de Practica Arismetis. Liber Isagogorum Alchorismi. Liber pulveris dixit algorithmi, thus spake al quarizmi, is the starting phrase of a manuscript in the University of Cambridge Library, which is generally referred to by its 1857 title Algorithmi de numero indorum. It is attributed to the Adelard of Bath, who had also translated the astronomical tables in 1126. It is perhaps the closest to all Khwarezmi's own writings. All Khwarezmi's work on arithmetic was responsible for introducing the Arabic numerals, based on the Hindu Arabic numeral system developed in Indian mathematics, to the Western world. The term algorithm is derived from the algorithm, the technique of performing arithmetic with Hindu Arabic numerals developed by all Khwarezmi. Both algorithm and Algorithm are derived from the Latinized forms of Al Khwarizmi's name, Algorithmi and Algorithmi, respectively. Topic: <laughs> Astronomy. Al Khwarizmi's Zij al Sindine (Arabic: Zij al Sind) Astronomical Tables of Sadanta is a work consisting of approximately 37 chapters on calendrical and astronomical calculations and 116 tables with calendrical, astronomical and astrological data, as well as a table of sign values. This is the first of many Arabic zihays based on the Indian astronomical methods known as the Sindine. The work contains tables for the movements of the Sun, the Moon and the five planets known at the time. This work marked the turning point in Islamic astronomy. Hitherto, Muslim astronomers had adopted a primarily research approach to the field, translating works of others and learning already discovered knowledge. The original Arabic version written c. 820 is lost, but a version by the Spanish astronomer Maslama ibn Ahmad al-Majriti c. 1000 has survived in a Latin translation, presumably by Adelard of Bath January 26, 1126. The four surviving manuscripts of the Latin translation are kept at the Bibliothèque Publique Chartres, the Bibliothèque Mazarin Paris, the Bibliotheca Nacional Madrid and the Bodleian Library Oxford. Topic. Trigonometry All Khwarezmi's Zij al Sindine also contained tables for the trigonometric functions of sines and cosine. A related treatise on spherical trigonometry is also attributed to him. All Khwarezmi produced accurate sine and cosine tables, and the first table of tangents. Topic. Geography Al-Khwarizmi's third major work is his Kitab Surat al-Ard Arabic. Kitab Swart Art Book of the Description of the Earth. Also known as his Geography, which was finished in 833. It is a major reworking of Ptolemy's second-century geography, consisting of a list of 2,402 coordinates of cities and other geographical features following a general introduction. There is only one surviving copy of Kitab Surat al-Ard, which is kept at the Strasbourg University Library. A Latin translation is kept at the Biblioteca Nacional de España in Madrid. 
The book opens with the list of latitudes and longitudes, in order of weather zones. That is to say in blocks of latitudes and, in each weather zone, by order of longitude. As Paul Gales points out, this excellent system allows the deduction of many latitudes and longitudes where the only extant document is in such a bad condition as to make it practically illegible. Neither the Arabic copy nor the Latin translation include the map of the world itself, however, Hubert Donacht was able to reconstruct the missing map from the list of coordinates. Donacht read the latitudes and longitudes of the coastal points in the manuscript, or deduces them from the context where they were not legible. He transferred the points onto graph paper and connected them with straight lines, obtaining an approximation of the coastline as it was on the original map. He then does the same for the rivers and towns. All Quarizmi corrected Ptolemy gross overestimate for the length of the Mediterranean Sea from the Canary Islands to the eastern shores of the Mediterranean. Ptolemy overestimated it at 63 degrees of longitude, while Al Quarizmi almost correctly estimated it at nearly 50 degrees of longitude. He also depicted the Atlantic and Indian Oceans as open bodies of water, not land-locked seas as Ptolemy had done." All Quarizmi's prime meridian at the Fortunate Isles was thus around 10 degrees east of the line used by Marinus and Ptolemy. Most medieval Muslim gazetteers continued to use al Quarizmi's prime meridian. Topic. Jewish calendar Al Khwarizmi wrote several other works, including a treatise on the Hebrew calendar, titled Rizala fi Istakraj Tariq al Yahud, Arabic, Arsalt fi Astkraj Tariq al Extraction of the Jewish Era. It describes the Matonic cycle, a 19 year intercalation cycle, the rules for determining on what day of the week the first day of the month Tishrei shall fall, calculates the interval between the Anno Mundi or Jewish year and the Seleucid era, and gives rules for determining the mean longitude of the sun and the moon using the Hebrew calendar. Similar material is found in the works of Abu Rehan al Biruni and Maimonides. Topic. Other works Ibn al Nadim's Kitab al Firist, an index of Arabic books, mentions al Khwarizmi's Kitab al Tariq, Arabic, Kitab al Tariq, a book of annals. No direct manuscript survives, however, a copy had reached Nusaybin by the 11th century, where its metropolitan bishop, Mar Elias Bar Shania, found it. Elias's chronicle quotes it from the death of the prophet through to 169 a at which point elias's text itself hits a lacuna several arabic manuscripts in berlin istanbul tashkent cairo and paris contain further material that surely or with some probability comes from al khwarizmi the Istanbul manuscript contains a paper on sundials the fearist credits al khwarizmi with kitab ar rukama t arabic Kitab Arahman. Other papers, such as one on the determination of the direction of Mecca, are on the spherical astronomy. Two texts deserve special interest on the morning with Marafat Sat al Mashriq fi kul balad and the determination of the azimuth from a height Marafat al Samt min kibbal al Artifa. He also wrote two books on using and constructing astrolabes. Topic. See also Al Khwarizmi crater a crater on the far side of the moon named for Al Khwarizmi Astronomy in the medieval Islamic world Indian influence on Islamic science List of pioneers in computer science Khwarizmi International Award an Iranian award named after Al Khwarizmi Mathematics in Medieval Islam al Khwarizmi Institute of Computer Science KICS, a Pakistani research institute named after al Khwarizmi. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>